Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens and we make Supreme Ambient Light Projection Technology. We also make the new Ambient Light Projection 17 coming out in 2020, 17. I never have my stand set correctly. All right, so right now I'm showing you, this is my, in each part of the house, we're gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you the different projectors I have in my environment. Um, in this one, I'm actually using uh, my NEC projector right here. I'll show you the model number. That's the model number of my NEC projector. If you're curious about getting one, I paid 150 bucks for this one right here. Actually, it's one in the house that I actually only paid around $59 for. I got it from a charity. Thank you so much for that. But, um, yeah, sometimes when I buy projectors, I like to look for ones that are actually linked to charities because then that way I'm, my money's going to something really nice. You know what I mean? Even if it's anybody else, it's still, still going to somewhere nice. But anyway, I just kind of look for those. Uh, so this is the uh, technology that we actually changed. Uh, this used to be a gold 9. Now it's a gold 12. Actually gold 12 or so 12 technology just takes a lot more light. On top of that it has the ability to produce in brighter and more vivid colors. And this is what uh, 9s are designed to do. 9s are designed to push crazy vivid bright uh, colors. Uh, contrast levels are actually extremely good. White levels are actually amazing. But actually, the main points of this technology is basically its color capability. So as you can see, we're using this in a fully lit environment. We have our lights here. Oh, I should be putting this light on too, even though it's not gonna make a difference. But we have our light there, and then over top, we have a light there. And I'm using my, like I said, ultra short throw projector. And this is one of the things I kind of point out that people have ultra short throw setups. They want it like a TV. For me in my environment, this is not set up to be a theater room. I call it a theater room, but actually just a, just a TV, my TV setup. Or projection screen, TV kind of TV setup. Got my Chromecast plug in the back of it, sub speakers over there in center. And just to show you how amazing the ambient light projection technology gain is, even though we can see this from an angle right there with no problem whatsoever, my windows are open. So my windows are open. And I can look outside my window, I can see the trees and birds and golf course and everything else out there with no problem whatsoever. And I show you I have no blinds coming down to cover any of the light coming through or no kind of awning to block any of the light. So I'll be doing the same demonstration again probably around in the afternoon to show you the uh, amazing capability of the technology. Now this screen right here was made out of a bed sheet, believe it or not, bed sheet. Uh, a couple of strips of old wood out of my basement and a few rusty L brackets and all I had to do was just coat this over with the 9 tech actually sorry 9 10 sorry bleh, 12 technology which is the gold and voila there you go so let me show you something else too a lot of people stare at this screen over here and they go what the dickens is this now mind you this is 720p this setup right here is a 720p Christie projector. This is my, and this is my little Christmas decoration. I know it isn't all that great, but it's something nice. I like it. But anyway, this is my setup for my desk. Um, this is a 79 portrait mode, 79 inch portrait mode projection screen. Let me make sure I don't have any personal files roaming around on there that may pop up. Come back here and check out this right here. My fish in the background. And things I like to watch. When I get up in the morning, quick. All right, so this right here is a nine. To, oh, so used to saying the gold nine, gold nine, and I have to get used to saying twelve, gold twelve, gold twelve. So this is a gold twelve, and this right over here is a um, the uh, um, supreme black ambient light rejection twelve. These are our black. Uh, this is the black formula that we make. Now, keep in mind, as I said before, in order for me to work on this screen, you know what I mean, I would have to be able to have a screen that's going to produce insane white levels in order for me to be able to read the text that is going to come up on my screen. So I'll just pull up a menu real quick. I'm not going to pull up anything insane because, like I said, I have work on here that I'm working on. Uh, just to give you an idea. Exactly what I mean by it pulls up a very nice white background. So we'll go to let me see IGN.com with their website for IGN. And there you go. See? That's what I love about this technology. 
fully lit environment and I could read everything crystal clear with no problem. And like I said, when you have a black screen like this, it's very important that it pulls a very good high white level because you have to be to see exactly what you are actually, um, what you're actually doing. Let's go to, uh, Now I'm just going to come here real quick, sorry about that, and I'm just going to look up something like books, just just hurt searching for books. So I have to be able to see the text very, very good, extremely good, if I'm going to be working on this, and that means the black screen is going to have to pull up a high enough white level in order for me to be able to see the black text. I think that's what a lot of people don't realize when it comes to our black technology that I actually work on these screens all the time. This is actually my work screen right here, I'm going to set up here. And then over here, this is my entertainment screen. All right, so let's turn this off because with our air conditioner in this place, it gets really hot in here. All right, so there we go. That's a 720p setup here, 720p setup over there. So let's go out. And since my projector in here, basically the Chrissy, the Chrissy runs, um, the Chrissy is around 5,000 lumens. So we have a 5,000 lumen Chrissy in here. And the 5,000 lumen Christian here is usually my 1080p projector. And I have that swapped out for um, my uh, 720p ultra short throw projector hooked up to my PS4. Oh, we got a bird in there. And this is just to show you how much light that enters this environment right here. So I use my 5,000 lumen projector. That was 1080p and the Sony BPL FH30, that is also a 1080p projector, but I swapped it out for my 3600 lumen ultra short throw projector and this environment right here. Just to show you how amazing the screens look. And like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money for an expensive projector just to get an amazing picture. And like I said, we always do this in well-lit environments. All right, so we'll come out of here. And, oh, walking with the controller in my hand. Worst habit I have is basically carrying the remote control throughout the entire house. I can't figure out where I put them at. All right, so in the arcade room, we do run 720p in here also, but one of the projectors is a full 1080p, Chrissy full 1080p. That one right there is a 720p projector. That's the arcade room, mini arcade room. And now we're gonna pop downstairs. And I'm going to show you the screen I have here. This is also running off a 720p projector also. So this is another um, NEC projector. I paid 59, this is one I think I paid $59 for. Yeah, $59 for that projector right there. And as you can see, my screen's around 126 inches. It sits in a bay of windows. As you can see, plenty of window light coming through. Now if I want, I can actually add a little light in the environment if I choose. So there we go. And then over here, we have my 138 inch 235.1 screen. I'm trying to remember if I said 138. Well, sometimes I say 135, but sorry, it's 138. This is actually using a 720p uh, ViewSonic projector. Right there, I use ViewSonic because the ViewSonic projectors have the 235.1. A lot of people have been asking questions like, how do you get the screen to look that wide? It's because ViewSonics have a 235.1 and their options. That's why I say, when you, if you want to do 235.1 and you want to do it on the cheap, where it's not going to cost you a lot of money, um, the best way to do that is with the um, uh, ViewSonics. They do that. So we'll take our lights on in here. Just showing us ambient light control technology ambient light control that's just the ambient light control Ugh, sorry about that ambient light rejection technology i am against ambient light control i think if you have a screen that's supposed to be ambient light rejection it shouldn't have a problem and you should not be using an ambient light controlled environment if your screen is designed to be used in a fully lit environment i don't get that at all period sorry that's one of my pet peeves right there that when screens claim to be ambient light rejection and yet they have to be using ambient light controlled environments because in fear that the screen is going to wash out or I don't know. But 
like I said, either it is or it isn't one or the other. I was like telling you that the screen is ambient light rejection and then they give you detailed instructions on how you can use it in a well-lit environment. I don't get that. All right, so this is what I'm playing with today. This is one of the, another ultra short throw projector that I have. This one has the, I bought the stand for this one so I can actually sit up on the table. And this surface right here is a piece of thin uh, fiberglass coated uh, with um, the Supreme Black. So we're just using this one in the kitchen. Come out of my menu real quick. We'll put this one right here. Probably get a commercial. Never usually get a commercial with this video. If I don't, I'd be quite surprised. Yep, get a commercial with it. And it just shows you how amazing the angle gain is on this technology. Like I said, absolutely incredible. Especially with the fact that it's a black screen. No, we don't want that. Thank you. I already have accounts and every time I come in here because I'm using it as a guest account, it'll constantly ask me over and over again, like, do you want to set up an account? Like, no, 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 I don't want I'm good. I already have two accounts, so I'm okay. I don't have too many accounts. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to be checking this out really quick. There we go, just to show you how beautiful the image looks. I should stand up on a chair for this one because it is tabletop. There we go, that looks better. And this is on our black technology. Now the projector I'm using in this demonstration, ooh man, vertical is kicking in. Looking at the screen, the mountains move back and forth while I'm standing up on a chair, not a good combination. But anyway, um, this right here is designed to, like I said, the black screens, it kind of threw me off right there. The black screens are, have amazing capabilities to be able to pull up amazing images. Uh, like I said, we've had a few problems with some individuals trying to paint and so to speak, paint the screens as being too dark and you can't see them, but uh, no. Um, I do enough live demonstrations backing up my technology and you know I do a lot of paint on demonstrations um, showing you how amazing the technology is. As a matter of fact, I'll post two at the bottom. I did one actually paint one directly to a wall and I have a few screens that I've actually painted in live paint and dry and live but yeah like i said it's wonderful wonderful technology on what it can do let me open, get some more light in here so let's open up our there we go so we have plenty of light pushing in it's nice and bright in here my kitchen takes a lot of light now i usually have a projector over there but that was removed uh, for the one that I just put upstairs because I wanted to do an all 720p setup um, I'm going to be doing more demonstrations on 720p's and it's just to explain to our customers that you really don't have to go out and spend all this money for a really high-end expensive projector because you know you think that it's going to be able to uh, it's going to be able to uh, it's going to advance it by a little bit but it's like you don't have to spend the money if you don't have to you know what I mean you might as well save your money now why spend for something that you really don't have to? That's the whole purpose of our technology. Is number one, it's develop screens to do all the work. And then number two, you don't have to go out and spend the money for an expensive projector. Right there. Now I'm gonna do two versions of this. I'm gonna do one actually pre-recorded so you can see the clarity of it all. And then I'm gonna do another one that is uh that is pre um, um, live. This is just to show you. I'm gonna go in and get the other demonstration I like to watch. And that's just to show you the amazing white levels. Like I said, when it comes to our technology, especially the black, white levels are not gonna be the same as a gray screen or white screen. I've said this many times in my demonstrations, but it's not gonna be something that the image is gonna be so dark that you can't see the screen. It's not gonna be unrecognizable. It's not gonna be unwatchable. You're gonna be to see it with no problem whatsoever. Now I explain to people, if you're coming off a white screen, if white levels are your strong point, you know what I mean? Some people want the contrast and they want the white levels at the same time. Sorry, that's not gonna happen. 
um, I suggest you go with the black silver or the gold. So those are the best screens to go with. Um, usually the plat platinum eclipse are very dark screens. So uh, that wouldn't be something that would favor you. And keep in mind, both the screens I suggested do have very good contrast levels. But I'll have some people just paint half a white screen and do a snow screen and say, look, it's not the same. Are you kidding me? Like, come on, really? And this is why we have to put these... All this information into the website and explain these things to them because we want you to understand that if it's a black screen the white levels are going to be a tad low they're not going to be equal to a white screen they're not going to be equal to a light gray screen but the levels are going to be extremely good where you're not going to basically have a distorted image now when i when they send me back pictures they say hey this is how it looks i can see the image crystal clear i'll post it on my fan page everybody comes in they love it they give good compliments to it but on their end, they think it's not bright enough because they want it to match a white screen. Well, black screens are not for you and the darker screens are not for you if you're going down that road because any darker screen is going to react the same way. So that's why I explained to them, maybe you may want to go with a, a more of our, our gray screens. That would be a good category for you. But then they want the contrast levels too, so it's like, what am I going to do? I should do some contrast on here too. There's the contrast levels. Here we go. This is what I want to do. I love this demonstration because the colors are so bright on here. Especially for a black screen. I'm doing a little better now. Yeah, that one part, but if you have the mountains moving by, ooh, man, that may be a bit dizzy right there. But I'm feeling much better now. And this shows you how incredible the Supreme 12s are. Supreme 12s pull amazing contrast levels. Look at that. Fully lit environment on my chair. And they pull amazing contrast levels. Now, the screen in the far back is a blue. Uh, blues are actually out of stock for right now because we are converting them to 17s. So that's why you won't see blues. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I am Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Screen, showing you weird camera angles. <sighs> You see the angle of that. And there we go. As you can see in a fully lit environment how my screens react. Yeah, like I said, we're using all 720p's in here. There's no point in going out and spending the money for all an expensive projector when you can just basically, you know, get the amazing same picture quality as you give it a 720p. Now I'm also going to put a link at the bottom where I did do a demonstration of a 720p, two of them. Um, I'm going to actually put the lowest one. We had one where I did a 600 by 800 res SVGA versus a Chrissy full 1080p projector side by side. I'm going to post that demonstration right there because you can check it out for yourself. Those of you who are wondering about 4K, yes, I did a 4K and 1080p, 720p projector side by side, and I'll show you the demonstrations on that. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm gonna remove this right here. I usually don't like to turn on this light right here because as I explained before, there's a bit of a short in it, but I wanna get that long view from all the way back here to see in the screen. Ooh, look, how, look how amazing this looks. But I wanna get this long view from here. So I wanna be to see this screen and that screen so you can see that light, that light, and that light all connecting and the image just pulling up. I love doing these demonstrations. This is how it's supposed to be. At the end of the day, like I said, you don't want to be in a dark environment. Nobody wants to be in a dark environment at the end of the day. If you're watching movies and stuff, oh, fine, so be it. But, you know, I mean, and my hours of this, early in the morning, I like to have plenty of light pushing through, and I do not want my screens washing out and fading. All right, thank you all for your time. I have to go, and God bless.